Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I love technology and I love making makeup videos. I just, I can't stop being creative. So thank you so much for joining me. And if you like this, you should subscribe. Like it's so good for you. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the iPhone battery pack for MagSafe because you might want this. Maybe you've been thinking about it, but I wanna share what I think about it and how it is working out so far with my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Because if any of you out there have been thinking about this, maybe you have some of the questions that I had. So this is the 12 Pro Max. It is the largest iPhone model that exists right now. I know we're gonna get another phone soon, but this is the largest model at the moment. And this is the battery pack. Now my last phone was the 10s Max, and that phone had a battery case that Apple made that I, used all the time it was amazing it was big and clunky but it was amazing because it doubled the life of my phone battery and when i was out like taking uber and things like that going out for the whole day it just saved me so many times it was amazing so when i heard that there was going to be a magsafe battery pack i got so excited because when i leave the house for the day or something i love having that peace of mind knowing i have extra battery with me so my thought was oh, I could like put this in my purse and then if I need it during the day when I'm out, I can just slap it on there. So boom, and you got it. And you've got it charging already. Cool, right? No, because I let my phone completely die and I tested the battery life that it was providing me and I had some very strong feelings about what happened there. My phone battery, by the way, on my Troll Pro Max, I've never really had a situation where it died and I desperately needed it. The battery is really good to begin with. But I did go ahead and let my phone battery die almost completely and I charged up my MagSafe battery pack completely and I just tested it to see how long it would take to charge my Troll Pro Max and how much battery juice it provided to my phone. And I was very disappointed. But first, before I go there, I think if you have one of the other models of iPhone, like the 12 or the 12 Pro or the 12 mini, I think you might be in great shape there. This is my experience with the 12 Pro Max. The total battery life that I was given from a completely, almost completely dead phone and this battery pack was only to 55%. Is that amazing if you're in a pinch? Yeah, absolutely. But the thing is, it took about at least like three, three and a half hours to even get to that point. So the use that I wanted this for doesn't apply to me. And so I feel like it is not the right fit for me. This is a $99 battery pack and it, it is not providing my phone with a full charge. It is not worth it to me. It is not worth the money to me with the 12 Pro Max version of the phone. It is not. However, if you have the 12 mini, I feel pretty confident you're probably gonna get a much bigger charge on your phone and you may find this worth it when you're on the go. But for me, I'm gonna have to look elsewhere for my battery pack needs. If you are a student, I think this might be something you would really like because you could set it on your desk in front of you while you're in a lecture hall or something and you could just have that extra time where it is giving your phone some juice while you're in a class. I actually think this would be amazing for college students because when you have to rush to the next class, you might not have time to plug in your phone in a wall outlet or something. This could be really cool for that. But if you were somebody who is on the go and you want this in your pocket, I do not recommend that. In fact, the paperwork it came with, guys, the paperwork recommends not having this near fabric, being very careful about this overheating. Um, it could be a fire hazard thing, I don't know, but when I try holding this in my hand, it is not comfortable and it makes using it very awkward if you are trying to charge your phone at the same time while you need to use it. And so for me personally, that is why I want to return my MagSafe battery pack this is just really going to be one of those things. It's going to depend on you and what your needs are. But if you expect this to be something that you are carrying with you, 
to the theme park or something, I don't think this is going to be your jam because this takes hours to even get to 55% and I just don't feel confident in placing this on my phone and putting it in my purse so it's going to get all hot during a summer day at Disneyland or something. I just don't feel good about that. So this is just awkward and clunky and I really think it's going to overheat on you if you put it in your jeans pocket all day. So I personally want to return this item, but I still think it might be good if you have one of the smaller iPhones. My deal breaker is if it is not giving me 100% charge, at least doubling the life of my phone, it's not worth it to me to spend $99. It's just not. So that's how I feel about that. I'm Emily Cleed, and that is my little tech review there.